Now, like many of you yesterday, I spent the bulk of the day glued to the debate in the House of Commons regarding the Emergency Measures Act. It was hours upon hours of back and forth discussion and liberal pot shots resulting in a vote of 185 yeas to 151 nays. The Liberal NDP coalition has struck again. Now, before we all completely panic, this act is not yet set in stone. It still has to move to a vote in the Senate, but that doesn't bring much comfort either. See, that is another deck that Trudeau has stacked. Now, my biggest question in all of this is why would the party that proclaims itself as a party for the working people vote in favor of the most draconian act ever to hit this generation and hit specifically working class people? On Jagmeet Singh's social media, you see post after post denouncing the rich and powerful elite, and he portrays himself as a politician for the people. One post, and I quote, Canadians have paid the price for this pandemic, while the rich and powerful have made off like bandits. People feel anger, I do too, but we can't let that anger turn into hate. Our fight is not with each other, it's with those who have rigged the system against working people. Now I want to break that post into two sections. In regards to not letting anger turn into hate, we have seen Justin Trudeau spew the worst vitriol against members of not just the convoy, but at members of the House. Trudeau has questioned whether these people should be tolerated, that they're taking up space, they're racist, they're misogynist, they hold unacceptable views, they are the fringe. Now is that not the rich and powerful Singh likes to so often denounce, turning his anger towards a group that has badly bruised his ego into hate? And the fight Singh talks about, you know, the system rigged against working people, also applies to Trudeau, who refuses to look at the science, seeing that his mandates are no longer necessary. That was all the convoy wanted. They wanted an end to the mandates. What they got was the iron fist of a disgruntled emperor. By invoking the Emergencies Act, Trudeau was able to crush peaceful protesters. Now, the mainstream bought and paid for media will let Canadians believe that there was no police violence or brutality during their operations, but the multitude of live stream videos that I watched proved otherwise. I was appalled and heartbroken by what I saw. I saw police beat peaceful people with batons and the butts of their guns. I saw officers kicking and stomping people who were already down on the ground. I saw police pelt people with rubber bullets, pepper spray, and tear gas. I saw a senior lady with mobility issues get mowed down and trampled by officers on horseback. But there was no hate from the protesters, even while all of this was going on. And that was proved by a video of an officer who was separated from his group, but was guided back to his line by the very people who were being beat by his comrades. My heart broke. For three weeks, there was no violence. But when Trudeau brought the hammer down on the most peaceful and loving protest I have ever seen, that hate and violence Singh denounces so clearly was unleashed on the very class he claims to be a champion of. So again, I ask, why does the NDP consistently go against working class people to back the rich and powerful Liberal Party hell-bent on crushing the very class of people Singh claims to defend? Does Singh have a lust for power? I mean, the NDP are not the official opposition and likely never will be. They only hold 25 seats, which ranks them fourth in the House of Commons. But through some sort of shady backroom deal they've made with Trudeau, they hold an incredible amount of power. Singh's party allowed the Emergency Act vote to be won for Trudeau. There's no question about it. This act goes against everything the NDP should stand for. Even the Communist Party of Canada stands firmly opposed to it. What has Trudeau promised Singh under the table to persuade him to back every single motion the Liberals put forward? Or maybe Trudeau has some serious dirt on Singh. We'll never know. As of Sunday, that emergency threat was gone. The trucks and the bouncy castles were all gone. The Emergency Measures Act did not need to go through. The streets of Ottawa are no longer full of Canadians hugging, waving their flags, and singing our national anthem. The people of downtown Ottawa now face a brutal police occupation where papers must be shown at every checkpoint. If they're not, you are arrested and thrown in jail. We don't just have Justin Trudeau to thank for this, but Jagmeet Singh as well. And it's about to get a whole lot worse. Hang on to your hats and your wallets, folks, because this NDP Liberal Coalition is coming for us all.